Our House ACC school is putting its foot down in a dispute with Damascus High School. So Damascus wanted a little extra school pride on the local water tower. But as WUSA 9 reporter Eric Flack shows us, Georgia Tech is blocking that plan and it's pointing to some fine print to do it. At Jimmy Cone in Damascus, you might say Georgia Tech it's getting the cold shoulder. Wow. Well, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. I mean, this is like small it's town, you know. We always, in high school, always thought, why isn't the Hornet up there in the first place? <laughs> they weren't the only ones. As we first reported on Monday, Damascus High School parent Victor Fernell and math teacher Rob Hyman spent years trying to get the water company, the Washington Suburban Sanitary Commission, to give permission to have their logo, the Swarm and Hornet, painted on the side of that water tower. WSSC finally gave the the green light in May. The guys even raised $15,000 to pay the cost of adding the Hornet when WSSC crews were already up there repainting the water tower on Wednesday. Then came the buzzkill. Georgia Tech, which has a very similar looking trademarked logo, sent the school a letter telling them use of the license for the trademark on the community water tower was not permitted. But why not, especially when the two sides came to an agreement in 2014 on a list of dozens of acceptable uses of the Hornet logo by the high school? Georgia Tech said Water Tower was not included on this rather long list. Damascus appealed. Georgia Tech said it would hear the appeal in August, weeks after those WSSC painters had wrapped up their work. And after that... WSSC's next scheduled painting of the tower is not for another 20 to 25 years. So if it doesn't happen now, it's not going to happen. That hasn't seemed to phase Georgia Tech. In this letter obtained by WUSA 9, the university responded to the community's pleas for an expedited decision before Wednesday's painting deadline. The legal issues surrounding this request cannot be satisfactorily disposed of in the limited time frame of the current repainting, wrote Georgia Tech's Vice President Patrick McKenna. We hope that expression of school and community pride can be demonstrated at this time in other ways that do not include the use of the licensed trademark. There's an agreement. There's common sense. Let us put it, let us put it up there. So could WSSC ever get the painters back up there if Georgia Tech changes its mind down the road? Well, they say never say never, but WSSC told me not only would it be a logistical nightmare, it would cost a lot more money than the community has already raised to try and get this done in the first place. Eric Flack, WUSA 9. Now to read that trademark agreement between the two schools and the letter from Georgia Tech spelling out why the water tower is off limits to Damascus, head to our website, WUSA9.com.